Tony Ayo, right? I was looking at this interview he did where he was talking about how Haitian Jack used to extort rappers. And something came to mind, man, because I always heard this rumor, and I don't know if it's true or not. But Tupac, right, was a part of his fallout with Haitian Jack and Jimmy Hinchman is because he wouldn't let them extort him? I don't even think they try to extort him, to be honest. I don't think, you know, I think, um, I think people who get extorted in the hip hop, you know, you know from, you know from their demeanor, like who, you know what I mean? Like Pac is not the biggest, you know what I mean, gangster on the planet, but he's not the type that will be extorted. And you don't have to be, you a man at the end of the day. It doesn't mean like you, when people say, you don't even have to be tough. You just got to have a little bit of honor and dignity to not let nobody come and take your hard work and money that you work and like real men ain't going to have that. Only cowards and suckers get extorted. You know what I mean? Like if you a real man, you're not going to work hard and this guy going to come and say, give me some of your money. I don't, you know what I mean? Even though I heard, you know, Haitian Jack and him was doing that to certain rappers, but I think they know from pot demeanor that he wasn't, he wasn't going for that. And I don't even think that's why Jack was around him. I think they just rubbed off. They, they, they had a lot of respect for each other. I think what happened with Jimmy Henchman is that, you know, from what they said, Pac and him got into a big argument. Pac probably disrespected him. You got to remember, Pac was young at some time. Like, Pac was young at that time. And a lot of times when he get heated, when you're young, you just go off with the mouth. You understand? And um, I think that's what happened. You know, they got into, like, some argument over the phone. And, you know, sometimes maybe his ego got involved. Like, um, I don't even think Haitian Jack had anything to do with it. You know, I still, from and even with, with some of the reporters coming out, it shows that it was more towards Jimmy Hitchman. You understand? So when Haitian Jack kept saying he ain't had nothing to do with it, and God knows best at the end of the day <laughs> who really was part of it, you know what I mean? But now that when you look back at everything that's coming out, it seemed like he really didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, that's crazy, man. But I always heard that, though. So that is true then. So Tupac, he was talking to Jimmy Hitchman crazy, and that was a part of the follow. That's from what I, yeah, that's what I heard. So he was talking to Jimmy Hitchman, and, um, you know, disrespectful. And I guess Jimmy Henchman, from, from what we know, was a real street dude. You understand? And I guess he felt like his ego was, you know, bruised or whatever, you know, because most stuff happened over ego. You know what I mean? So whatever he felt, and he probably sent the people to, um, I don't even think they really came to kill Pop. Maybe they wanted to rob him. Maybe they wanted to scam. Maybe wanted to rob him because... Sometimes, you know, sending people to rob people, that's how you send a message back then. But when Pop pulled out the gun, that's when all the shots started going off. King Tut, you know who that is? We just heard about him from, because they were saying at first he was the one that shot Pop, you know? But I don't know who he was. I'm from Jersey, bro. We don't, where, I, where I'm from, gangsta, New York gangsters ain't matter. I'm just going to be honest. You know, <laughs> Jersey dudes, Jersey dudes, we had a whole nother mentality. Like, so when these, these names was going around, they never put fear in us. You understand? And I, I, I guess the way we was, but for maybe New Yorkers and stuff, they know these people. But for us, they really didn't, none of these names mean anything. Jersey's just a different type of zoo. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But you knowing Tupac, right? You knowing him personally, he wouldn't let nobody extort him. No, definitely. You know what I mean? And, and, and let me say this, because sometimes the people in the comments, oh, these people think Pac is untouched. No, we're not saying that. We're not saying he's an untouchable because he got touched. Unfortunately, you know, that's how he got demise. We're not saying because everybody can be touched. Nobody is just, you know, un un unfallible. Nobody is perfect. Ain't nobody the toughest man on the earth. But his personality, he definitely is not the type that's going to allow someone to extort him. And, um... And I think the relationship he had with Haitian Jack definitely wasn't that type of relation. Because Pac the type, even if you try to extort him, let's say he would have pulled it off, he not going to be hanging with him the next day. You know what I mean? He ain't going to be around him. Like, he ain't going to be his friend. He, it would be knowing Pac, because you know he, he, he loved his mouth. He probably would have been doing rap records about it, everything. <laughs> but his personality that I know about, he wouldn't allow that to happen. And like I said, if you're a real man, I don't even know like how these other rappers even allowed it.